Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Benjamin Oppenheimer. I'm pleased to share an exciting new option for patients that has changed the way I practice dentistry. In this video presentation, I'm going to be demonstrating a lower denture stabilization using mini dental implants. I chose the Imtex Sendex MDI system because of its track record and the quality of the products. Denture stabilization with mini dental implants has become a popular treatment modality for a number of factors. Firstly, the need is obvious. Lower dentures present a problem with nearly all patients with a full lower denture prosthesis, especially those with a resorbed ridge. The retention gained from this simple procedure has been reported to improve satisfaction by seven to eight times in the literature. Secondly, the procedure is easy to learn and complete by the dentist and is easy on the patient. Flap reflection is not necessary and the post-operative healing time is dramatically reduced. Patients typically report mild discomfort for only about 12 to 24 hours following the procedure. The procedure is also quick. The patient's existing denture can often be utilized and the total treatment time is about an hour. Finally, cost is usually a factor for our patients and this procedure is a fraction of the cost of the root form implant options due to both the cost of the implants and the associated materials as well as the total treatment time. I hope that you adopt this protocol for your office and enjoy sharing the benefits with your patients. You can see here we have uh, laid out all the pieces and parts that we're going to use in uh, today's surgery. The most important elements are the surgical kit, the uh, spiral drill, and all the housings and uh, ancillary items. So as we see here, if we open up the surgical kit box, you can see that uh, there is a uh, titanium uh, locking pliers that's used to transfer the titanium implants to the instruments if needed. Also, the finger tools, which are the finger driver and the winged thumb wrench, as well as some other uh, pieces, including the ratchet wrench and adjustable torque wrench. All are used for all different elements in these procedures and all should be purchased and included in your armamentarium. Also in this case, we're gonna use the micro housings. These are the MH2 housings from Imtech Corporation. These have a medium retention, stronger than the MH1s, but also allow for just a little bit less angulation differences. If it comes to pass that we need to modify our housings on this case and go with an MH1, which allows for a little bit more implant divergence, we can do that. You'll also notice that uh, there are shims here. These are uh, plastic or elastic blockout shims that are placed over the square portion of the implants after the implants are in place and uh, that will help to block out any parallel walls or any undercuts that are developed so that the acrylic doesn't flow and get caught under there and form an undercut which ends up locking in the denture. Okay so the first thing that uh, we always do is have our patient review our consent form. I have one custom made uh, it follows our state laws and also the guidelines as well as informs the patient about everything from typical complications. My patients always know that when they're with me, we'll give this to you Donnie, you can take that. <clears throat> complications can arise in any procedure but uh, they, they typically understand that uh, as, as long as you come back and see me we'll take care of everything. We've done this before, right? So far so good. You can take your time, Donnie, and, and review it. Um, basically, what we're saying is that uh, um, you know, uh, m mini implants are being placed. We're going right. to place four to help stabilize a denture for you today. And uh, um, if anything does occur, you let us know right away. If you see any bleeding or swelling or have any excessive pain, call me right up, and we'll fix it for you. All right. Thank All right. You. So we're going to just add a little topical anesthetic and on the ridge just lingual to the ridge and just buckle to the ridge. I'm doing a typical lower denture stabilization. Donnie just recently had um, all of his lower teeth extracted, all of his upper teeth extracted. He's still healing for the uppers, but we thought that you know he had been going through enough torture without having anything stable. 